Hi, Henry. It's your cousin, Grace. Today I'm going to be reading the story of Ferdinand. When you hear this sound, turn the page. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in the shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your heads, she would say, but not Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome and because she was an understanding mother even though she was a cow. She let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bull fights in Madrid. But not Ferdinand. He still likes to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfighting in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him and he didn't care, so he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting and instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that is just what the bee did to Ferdinand. Wow, did it hurt. Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, budding and pawing that ground as if he was crazy. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. There was the largest and the fiercest bull of all, just the one for the bull fighting in Madrid. So they took him away for the bull fight today in a cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying, 
bands were playing. And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the banderieros with long sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Next came the Picadores with ro rod, who rode, rode skinny horses, and they had long sharp sharps to stick in the bull and make him madder. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and blue, bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull, and you know who that was was, didn't you, Ferdinand? They called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and all the banderieros who offered were afraid of him, and the picadores were afraid of him, and the matador was Scared stuff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he would was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand when he got to the middle of the ring he saw the flowers in all the lovely ladies' hair and he just sat down quietly and smelled. He wanted he wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled and the Banderieros were mad and the Picadoros were madder and the Matador. Matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. So they had to take Ferdinand home. And for all I know, he is sitting there still, under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy. The end.